What up, y'all? Top Flow Bars in the building for our ministry. We give God all the honor, glory, and praise. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray right now, Heavenly Father, and I thank you, O oh Lord, for your word. I pray that it be none of me and all of you, Lord God. Let your spirit fall fresh on me for this quick message. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Heavenly Father, and by the blood of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. And to God be the glory and all of the honor. Now, today we was talking about, today we was talking about Matthew 7, verse 1 and 2. And it reads, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Now, a, a quick breakdown. Judge not that ye be not judged. What that means is that you need to judge yourself at the house. You judge yourself with the Bible. You judge yourself with this word, with the Father. That way, when you go outside, nobody else has to judge you in an in a, in a incorrect way. Now, Verse 2, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. So however you see yourself, however you judge yourself, that's how you're going to be judged. If you judge yourself as a low life, then you will be judged. Other people will see you and judge you as a low life. If you judge yourself on a higher level with standards as a man, as a woman, then people will approach you and talk to you and do things with you as a man, as a woman. Glory be to God. So whatever you do at the house, however you judging yourself and take care of yourself, that's how people are going to do the same. Now, moving on. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So however you judge yourself, on that first impression or when it may, it may not even be a first impression but it could just be you know somebody that sees you all the time if they notice your character the way you judge yourself if you always looking raggedy if you always looking spiffy clean sharp are you always in a low vibrational mood or are you in a high you know, a high frequency. You, you you giving your energy. You letting people know what it is. That's the same measure is going to be meet. So when they see you again, they want to see the same consistency. Do you hear what I'm saying? I shouldn't be happy one day, and then mad the next day. Then happy the next morning. Then mad the next. Nah, it should be a nice continual. I'm always judging myself by the word, right? Every day. So it should be a continuous, a continual uh, judgment of myself, which will make me better each and every day. And therefore, I can be consistent and receive the grace and the peace that God has blessed us with. You feel me? Glory be to God. You have to judge yourself so that other people don't have to judge you. And not only that. So that God don't have to judge you. He doesn't want us to be disobedient. He doesn't want us to be fearful. He doesn't want us to be um, uh, to do things in excess that we don't need to do. You know what I'm saying? When we practice our godliness, our, when we practice our godliness, it's when we stay still and seek the king. You hear what I'm saying? We study to be quiet. We study to be approved. I said we study to be quiet. We study to be approved of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In my, just know, y'all. Just know that uh, you don't want to end up in judgment. So just judge yourself. Let the Father judge you. You already know where you need correction at in your life. We all do. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm going to take you over to this next uh, scripture real quick. And it says Psalms. Psalm 1, excuse me. Verse 5, verse 6. And it reads, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. In other words, what I'm saying is when you don't judge yourself, you let the ungodly things take over. You let the sin take over. And that's not righteous, and it will not, it shall not stand in judgment, and it shall perish. What you do when you don't judge yourself, and you, and you, when you hear your intuition, or if you hear the Holy Ghost say, nah, don't do that. You're supposed to yield to that. When the Bible says, those that know to do good, or do right, and they do it not, that's sin. So when you feel the Holy Ghost say, no, 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 don't do that. When you feel the intuition or whatever in your, your, your uh, mind or in your heart, and it says, no, nah, don't do it, then you need to just yield to that. And, and that's giving you a better, clearer judgment so that you don't perish. When you don't do those things, that's when you become lazy, stagnant. That's when we procrastinate. That's when we make excuses. That's when we don't feel a hundred percent about things that's when we that's when confusion comes delusions come all of that type of stuff and we know that god is not the author of confusion at all he upbraideth not if any man lack wisdom let him ask god he give it liberally you know what i mean glory be to god but i just want to remind y'all about that you know judgment is not all bad what they, how we look at judgment is, dang, they going to say something about me. Or we look at judgment as, oh, I got to pay this fine, this penalty. I got to uh, do this time. I got to get this, uh, these tickets, citations, and things like that. All judgments are not bad. All judgments are not bad. Glory be to God. What is bad is that they have flipped our mind to think that judgments are bad. When God is judging us every day, when God judges us, he's judging us to correct us in love. When God judges us, he's judging us to bless us. When God judges us, he's doing that to give us more life and life more abundantly. When God judges us, you know that it's going to be correct. It's not going to be half-sided. It's not going to be some, some type of lie or anything like that. You know that it's righteous. You know that it's good with him because it's his word. You hear what I'm saying? Glory be to God. And that's where it's at. So definitely, don't ever feel uh, scared or frightened. You know, that's why the Bible says, our, our Lord and Savior, he, he goes through the Bible and he says, Let your heart not be afraid. Fear not, fear not, let your heart not be afraid, for I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. He lets us know all the time, for I am with thee. So let your heart not be afraid of the, of the judgment. Don't let it be afraid of testimony, deliverances, anything like that. Don't ever let it uh, discourage you from coming to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and just letting him know, like, what, what's, you know what I'm saying? Do I need judgment? Do I need correction? Do I need something fixed in my life? Because we all know what we have, where we slack at and where we, you know what I'm saying? But that's just a part of being a human. That's a part of life. That's a part of just growing up, period. You feel me? So that's, that's, that's going to happen. But uh, one more time, man. That's uh, Matthew 7, verse 1 and 2. And that's Psalms 1, verse 5 and 6. And just, you know, one more time, man. Judge yourself, then other people know how to judge you. Other people won't judge you incorrectly. God won't have to judge you. And on top of that, it's, go, it's what you're going to multiply. So if you have good judgment of character and you know good people, it should multiply good people. If you have good judgment of character with the, you know, uh, slot machine or, you know, being lucky or... You know what I'm saying? Uh, knowing when somebody needs something or, 
knowing when to come through, whatever the case may be. That's your judgment. So it should be working in your favor. Glory be to God. It should be working in your favor. It should be making you smarter. It should be helping the people around us. That's what judgment is for. It's not to, to, to send you to hell. It's to keep you from hell. Do you hear what I'm saying? Glory be to God. It's not to send you to hell. It's to keep you out of hell. That's why I said the other day, a lot, you know that scripture, it says uh, if you lose your life, then you're going to save your life. But if you save your life, you're going to lose your life. It says that first. If you save your life, you lose your life. If you lose your life, then you're going to save your life. So in other words, it's saying if you die now, then you can then you'll get judged later. If you get judged now, then you can die later. You feel me? Glory be to God. Then you die later. I'd rather get judged now and die later on. You hear what I'm saying? Because he came to give us life and life more abundantly. That's the whole reason of getting judged. So you can get your blessing. So you can repent of your sins, of your disbelief, unbelief, any fearfulness, any whoremongering, any of that. You get clean of that. Do you hear what I'm saying? You get clean of that by the blood of Jesus, washed in the blood. He cleansed you of your sin and you can move on and he can bless you while you're on earth. Everybody wants to go to heaven. We supposed to experience heaven here. This is heaven. This is a part of heaven. This is a part of the kingdom of God. You hear what I'm saying? And if he give us this beautiful world with all this lusciousness, with all these waterfalls and all these views, and all, then imagine. Imagine going to heaven. It's unlimited. Glory be to God. It's unlimited. And you can't go wrong. With the judgment of the Lord. You hear what I'm saying? The just one. So we're going to end like this. In, in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus. Heavenly Father. I pray thee O oh Lord. That all of the saints. All of your saints. All your angels. They look in the mirror of the Bible. And judge themselves with your word Lord God. That way that they can build up their most holy faith. And they could be blessed in the Lord. While they live on earth. And be blessed after in eternity in the mighty name of jesus by the blood of jesus we thank you father hallelujah amen amen and amen and to god be the glory and all of the honor hallelujah and if i'm uh you know if my camera angles is kind of off y'all you know i just we doing it live baby we do it live glory be to god but thank y'all though thank y'all we love y'all over here on the top floor bar ministry more importantly, God loves you. You know what I'm saying? Glory be to God. And we out.